All right, coming up next is the UFC Flyweight Division matchup. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that line. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Johnson is three years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Alex Perez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Well, fight. these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice one, two there. Johnson's kick to the body, that one blocked. Big kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Connects with a right. All collar tie. Effective punch there by DJ. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Just missed with the left there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big body kick lands. Oh, big head kick land. Back and forth we go. Twist on the elbow. Oh, a little 
little single collar tie there. Huge knee lands from Mitch Lowe. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Johnson's shot there is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He got him. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Johnson. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. If you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscience? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Great punch landed with so much power. Connects now with the one-two. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his Low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Beautiful strike. Oh! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy oh, is unbelievable. Huge right hand! He needs Whoa! His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could hurt. That'll do it! That is it. Wow! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while.